Hi guys, it's your fave Q the Braider. I'm back with another tutorial. I'm sure her face looked familiar as she was in another one of my videos. And today we're just about to run it back and do another braid style for you guys. First thing first, we're gonna get her ready for the shampoo bowl. back from the shampoo bowl and the first step first we want to heat protect your client's hair I'm just gonna work by section and I'm gonna start with her back section first protect 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 with heat there we go and blow dry <laughs> have my client nice and blow dry we're going to switch her over to a styling cape so bye bye shampoo cape we do not need you no more okay so this part is optional for your client i like to go ahead and clean up their ends so i'm just cleaning up my client's ends for her this is just called a little dust it's not really a trim because i'm not going to go deep into it but i'm just going to get rid of the ends that she do not need and that will make the braid process go by way quicker. So if you guys are looking, I'm sure you can see the difference. This is the side that I dusted a little bit and then this is the side that I have to do. So I'm just gonna keep moving along. All right, so when braiding hair, I like to start in the back. So the first thing first, we're going to part her hair down the middle. And it's also okay if you have to repart it more than one time, that's perfectly fine because I don't always get it on the first try. So I'm going to go ahead and clip off one side so I can focus on one section at a time. So for this particular service, the parts do not, to be, do not have to be so small. So what I do is I start from the middle and then I part to the top of the ear. This is how I get my first section. Start from the middle and part to the top of the ear. So here we have just a section of hair. So we want to go ahead and clean up this part. And we're going to trace the part like it's a coloring book. We're going to trace the part. So right now it looks like I'm messing up the part, but I'm getting ready to do greatness. After you have traced the part with the product, you're going to now retrace the part with the metal tooth of your comb. And we're also going to be using the top. So this is just to ensure that the part is really, 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 really crispy. As you see from that first part, how it cleaned up. So you're just gonna keep on doing it. Again, you can retrace or redo this part as many times until you get the desired look. There you have it. This is going to be the first section for this style right here. From here, I'm just going to go ahead and eye out three parts. You're 
you're going to get them as even as possible, but it's okay if it's not exact. But from the look of mine, it's as even as possible. We're about to go ahead and start braiding. Here I have my first part. What I like to do is take my shining jam. This product looks familiar. I showed you guys in the beginning. I like to take that product and lay it on the roots. Before I start, I like to split my hair in three sections. Make sure the three strands are as even as possible because this is how you get a consistent knotless braid. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start. You see how I did that? I'm gonna take the middle piece, cross it over the right. Pause and make sure all your hair is going down on that first part. Keep your grip. Gonna go again, pause, make sure all the hair is going down. So as the hair is bunching up, you wanna make sure you pull a little tension and keep it going straight. So this is what to make your knotless braid very seamless. All right, after everything is pinched together, this is where we're gonna start adding our hair that we pre-stretched. So you're just gonna grab one of those pieces and we're going to add the hair between our index finger and our thumb. Just swipe it in like that. Keep the tightness, pause, and make sure all the hair is going straight and it's flat. There we go. We added one piece, it's time to add the second piece. I'm doing the same thing. I'm grabbing two of my pre-made strands and adding it between my index and my thumb. Do not forget underneath the braid, make sure all of that is smooth as well. You're going to check the sides, make sure no extra hair is going into this part and you're gonna keep smoothing everything. Okay, we're gonna add again. Do not forget to keep checking the sides of your part. And we're gonna make sure we keep flattening everything. So far, so good. You're gonna stop adding hair at the thickness that you would like the braid. So I'm satisfied with the thickness of this braid. So I'm just gonna keep braiding down. You can also take this time to check to make sure all three of your strands are even. If these three strands are not even, your braid is going to be lumpy. it around your index finger and you're going to pull down so I just do this two times to make sure it's secure so I'm gonna loop it around my index finger bring that strand through from the back and I'm just going to pull it down to make sure it's tight and here we have our first braid Woo -hoo -hoo. Moving on to our second braid, I'm just gonna repeat. This is for the visual learners. I'm just gonna do it a second time so you guys can just get the gist of it. Mm -hmm. 
Now, the only difference that I'm going to do with this braid that I did not do with the middle braid is I'm going to add my curly piece in. So this is how you kind of get the goddess look. What I'm going to do is add it the same way right between my index finger and my thumb. And I'm going to lay one curl up and then continue to add my braiding hair on top of the curl. One, two, and then you're going to take that second piece and you're going to lay that forward as well. Continue to add your braiding hair. Once you have secured the bottom, you're just going to lay the extra curly pieces down. And there you have it. On to the third braid. I went ahead and did the third braid for you guys, but I purposely left the curly piece off to show you what to do in case, let's say you get in the zone, you're braiding, you realize, oh my gosh, I forgot to add the curly piece in. Instead of undoing the whole thing, you can get a crochet needle and you can just crochet it right on in. Easy breezy. The hook opens and closed, so you're just gonna have the hook closed. You're going to go in in a diagonal motion Kind of shimmy it through, open the latch, you're going to hook your curly piece on, close it, pull it through. You're going to keep this loop and you're going to take it through twice. One, twist, two, twist, maybe three times, three, twist, and you're just going to pull it down. So that is going to form a knot. This is if you forgot to add the curly piece and you still wanted one on there. And then you could just hide that knot behind the braid. So you still have the curly look. I went on and parted this side out, but as you can see, this is row one, this is row two, and this is row three. So this service will only have three rows all together. Like I stated in the beginning, what I do to one side, I do to the other side, like a math problem. When I'm parting the second row, I kind of start on the temple and then I come back to meet the middle of her head. So parting down the middle, like I said in the beginning, it'll help maneuver through the process way quicker by working on one side at a time. And it's good for making everything nice and symmetrical. This style requires dramatic baby hairs. You don't have to do dramatic, but I'm gonna do dramatic for this one. You're just gonna go ahead and push your client's edges to the front. I'm kind of just eyeing it. And we're gonna come back to that once we're done braiding. We want dramatic edges because it looks cuter. And we're definitely gonna pull her sideburn out as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and follow the same steps that I did on the first row. You guys just continue to look and learn.
we have it, a head full of braids. Every single row is done. As you guys can see, three rows, like I said, the parts are pretty even. So we're gonna go ahead and go in and curl the bottom half of the hair. I'm going to take my flexi rod. This is a red one. I also alternate between red and blue. It's kind of just the thing that I do. It's not really uniform, but I like when the curls are different sizes because it looks more natural. So I'm just going to randomly put some in red and put some in blue. You're just gonna take two braids. I like to do maybe one at the top and bottom row. Make sure the braids are laying downwards. You're going to place your flexi rod next to the braids and you're going to twist away from the face. So you're gonna twist and wrap, twist and wrap, twist and wrap. Once you are to the bottom, you're going to push and secure that. Same thing on the top, make sure it's tight. You're going to push and secure that. And there we have it. This is how it should look. While we have the hot water brewing, we're gonna go ahead and get her edges right. For this particular look, you wanna grab your mini flat irons, take it and curl under. Whichever part feels right, that's where you're gonna start at. So I'm just gonna randomly start here. So with edges, you never know which way it's gonna go. So you're just gonna play around with them until they're laying how you want them to go. Here we are back to the back of her head. So we are about to dip, that is pretty self-explanatory and you're going to need a towel to catch the wet and hot hair. So here we go. the completed look so if you follow all of my steps you your client should be looking like this very pretty very sophisticated anybody can get this look so thank you all for watching do not forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye And another thing, <clears throat> lastly, hair is. <laughs> um, hair oil that I did not show. That's a secret. All right, so this is her hair oil that she didn't <laughs> <laughs> <Here's a close -up. laughs> Cut, cut. Okay. I didn't get. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> 
Can you stop? 